Alistair Moody. Ex order. Ministry malcontent. First runner up, Miss Hogwarts, 1986. Uh, teacher, I am here because Dumbledore asked me. End of story. Goodbye, the end. Any questions? Did you try to stop a chainsaw with your face? When it comes to the dark arts, I believe in a practical approach. Piss yourself and run away. Each of you can tell me how many unforgivable curses there are. According to George Carlin's seven. Please, sir. And they are so named? Because they are unforgivable. <laughs> oh, well, duh. Earn you a one-way ticket to Azkaban, correct? Now, the minister says you're too young to see what these curses do. I say different. Well, that must have been a weird discussion. Um, I think they're too young, Alistair. Different! What world that doesn't even- Different! Besides the underside of your desk, Mr. Finnegan! Oh, no way. The old codger can see at the back of his head. I'm here across classrooms! Chris Matthews, school teacher. So, which curse shall we see first? Weasley! Yes. Oh, his Dan. shrill cowering hasn't gotten rusty over the summer. Give us a curse. Um, bollocks? My, my dad did tell me about one. Hmm. The Imperious Curse. Oh, yeah. Your father would know all about that. I had to arrest him if for it nine times. A few years ago. Perhaps this will show you why. Now, how do I run PowerPoint up here? What does JK expect me to see in that numb nuts? Hello. You raided the kitchen this morning. Oh, little beauty. The Cursed Alley Curse, you sadistic bastard! Uh. <laughs> How are there fat kids at Hogwarts? You gotta go up 20 flights of stairs to get to each class. <laughs> Why is this funny to them? Most people would scream like a coked up toddler and faint if this happened again. <laughs> what should I ever do next? Jump out the window? Yeah! Do it! Totally! Down or so? Um, I actually wouldn't break the surface tension. Spider, spider, does whatever a spider can, but that's not particularly impressive. Scores of witches and wizards have claimed that they only did you know who's bidding. Under the influence of the Imperious Curse. And here's boobs. The problem. How do we sort out the liars? Well, it's a stringed instrument for starters. Another, another. Up, up, come on. Long bottom, is it? No, it's shaped up. pretty normal. Professor Sprout tells me you have an aptitude for herbology. But this will probably never prove relevant. The, the Cruciatus. Yes. Correct! Correct! Now you win a cookie! Come. Particularly nasty. The torture curse. NBC's fall line. Lucio! He's making him watch the trailer for that live action Dragon Ball Z movie. It's turning him into a buck-toothed dork! Should we be watching him do that? I'll uh, give you the name of my um, therapist, Longbottom. <clears throat> Perhaps you could give us the last unforgivable curse, Miss Granger. I'm not telling! Havada <laughs> So the curse makes its victim go out of focus? The killing curse. Killing curse? What if you Only miss? one person is known to have survived it. And he's sitting in this room. They're giving all the dumber viewers some time to figure out just who he's talking about. Well, it has been up to three minutes since his last drink. 